Today, BTS and its management company Hype Entertainment are revered as one of the most successful collaborations in the history of not only K-pop, but the entire music industry. But did you know there is a dark secret about the controversies and scandals that made BTS and Hype what they are today? From accusations of exploitation to poor management practices, join us today as we unravel the dark truth about the rise of Hype and whether they would have any success if not for BTS. Origins of Hype Hype Entertainment has undeniably made a significant impact on the K-pop industry. Once struggling and nearly facing bankruptcy in 2007, the company has emerged as a dominant force, reshaping the landscape of Korean entertainment. Thanks to the unprecedented success of BTS, Hype Entertainment now stands alongside the traditional big three companies, solidifying its position as a powerhouse in the industry. The K-pop industry has faced its fair share of challenges over the years, including issues such as abusive management, exploitative contracts, sexism, and overworking of artists. Companies like SMYG and JYP Entertainment, which are part of the traditional Big Three, have been criticized for their practices, and deservedly so. SM Entertainment in particular was known for housing exceptionally talented idols, but concerns arose about their treatment, with visible signs of exhaustion and overwork among their artists. Rumors even circulated about the exploitation of idols' bodies for attention, highlighting the darker side of the industry. During that time, YG Entertainment faced criticism for its management practices, with many noting a lack of visibility for their idols due to sparse schedules. Additionally, there were concerns that the company prioritized visuals over talent, resulting in a mixed pool of artists in terms of skill. JYP Entertainment also faced similar scrutiny, with some artists seemingly kept out of the spotlight and their talents underutilized. This management practices had detrimental effects on artists, leading to feelings of frustration, depression, and ultimately departures from the company. However, in 2005, a new player entered the scene with a different approach. This company, known initially as Big Hit Entertainment and now as Hype Entertainment, opted for a more nurturing and supportive environment for its artists. It's remarkable to see how a once small and relatively unknown company transformed into a global sensation. BTS's journey is particularly fascinating, with each member having a unique path to joining the group. While most members went through auditions, RM played a pivotal role as the first member, personally invited to join BTS and serving as its foundation. Rise of BTS Jin's recruitment story adds an interesting twist to BTS's origin. He was scouted while taking a bus to college, a chance encounter that ultimately led to his inclusion in the group. In hindsight, it might seem serendipitous or even a bit eerie, but without that casting manager's keen eye, we wouldn't have the beloved worldwide handsome in BTS. The journey of BTS is marked by immense dedication and sacrifice. From the moment they were scouted, the members embarked on a relentless pursuit of their dreams, often at the expense of living behind their families and sacrificing aspects of their childhood to mature and focus on their work. They spent countless hours practicing in small, cramped rooms, honing their skills and perfecting their craft. In their early days, BTS occupied just a couple of floors in a modest building, a far cry from the grandeur they now command. However, that humble beginning has since become a cherished part of their history, with the building treated as a cultural landmark by fans. Visitors leave their marks on the walls, turning it into a living tribute to BTS's remarkable journey. Adjacent to this iconic building is a restaurant that the members frequented during their early years. The owner fondly recalls their humble demeanor and down-to-earth nature, a quality that has undoubtedly endeared BTS to their fans and contributed to their unparalleled success. The owners are grateful for the influx of armies who visit, recognizing the significant impact BTS has had on their establishment. Today, BTS's influence transcends borders, and wherever they go, armies follow, demonstrating the profound connection between the group and their dedicated fanbase. Hype and BTS Bang Si Hyuk, the mastermind behind Hype Entertainment, played a pivotal role in BTS's success story. Together with the producers, he granted the members unprecedented freedom to create music according to their own vision, an approach that set BTS apart from their peers. Unlike other companies that tightly controlled every aspect of their idols' careers, BTS wrote their own music, infusing it with meaning and authenticity that resonated deeply with audiences. With the support of dedicated staff members and Banksy Hughes guidance, BTS transformed from humble beginnings into a global empire. However, their journey was not without its challenges and controversies. 
Allegations of overworking and mistreatment of BTS members surfaced, casting a shadow over their otherwise stellar reputation. Furthermore, Hype Entertainment had experienced setbacks with previous groups, such as Glam, a girl group that debuted in 2012 under Big Hit Entertainment. Despite their early promise, Glam faced a dramatic downfall when one of its members became involved in a scandal, resulting in imprisonment. In light of these events, Hype made the difficult decision to cut ties with Glam, ultimately leading to their disappearance from the spotlight. The accusations against Hype Entertainment regarding the elimination of competition and the acquisition of smaller music labels are also concerning. While it's unclear whether these actions were intentional or simply a consequence of business decisions, they have raised questions about fair competition within the industry. In 2019, Hype introduced Tomorrow X Together TXT, a new group touted as the next BTS. Despite not yet reaching the same level of fame as their seniors, TXT has garnered attention for their talent and potential. Fans hope that they will follow in BTS's footsteps and achieve similar success in the future. Bang Si Hyuk's passion for music laid the foundation for Hype Entertainment's success, alongside BTS's groundbreaking achievements. However, his resignation as CEO upon the company's rebranding from Big Hit Entertainment marked a significant transition. It's worth noting that there was ongoing speculation about Jin potentially becoming the next CEO, leading to lighthearted jokes about Jin Hit Entertainment. Surprisingly, this jest holds some truth, as Jin, along with RM, Suga, J Hope, Jemin, V, and Jungkook, are now part owners of Hype Entertainment, a testament to their immense contributions to the company's growth and success. Hype without BTS and as for what would have happened to Hype without BTS, that is anyone's guess. Maybe the company would have continued to look for and nurtured new talents and found some success. But it's hard to speculate if they would be nearly as successful as they are today thanks to BTS. But what if BTS was to somehow part ways with Hype today? Would the corporation still continue to be as profitable as it currently is? If we look at the numbers, Hype Entertainment's evolution goes beyond its origins as a mere entertainment agency. While BTS remains a cornerstone of Hype's success, accounting for a significant portion of its revenue, the company's growth trajectory extends beyond the achievements of the group alone. In recent years, Hype has diversified its revenue streams, reducing its dependence on BTS for income. For instance, while BTS contributed to 97% of Hype's revenue in 2019, that figure decreased to 85% in 2020 and further to 60% in 2021. The statistics reflect Hype's expanding portfolio and increasing revenue from sources beyond BTS. Hype's overall revenue has witnessed substantial growth year after year, indicating its success in diversifying its business ventures. From earning 580 billion Korean won, approximately 483 million USD in 2019, to 1.2 trillion Korean won, approximately 1 billion USD in 2021, Hype's financial performance underscores its transition into a multifaceted entertainment conglomerate. One significant aspect of Hype's expansion strategy involves the acquisition of artist intellectual property. This strategic move allows Hype to tap into new revenue streams and capitalize on the popularity and creative assets of various artists beyond BTS. Hype's growth trajectory is characterized by ongoing diversification efforts aimed at establishing multiple pillars of revenue generation. Just as BTS emerged as the primary pillar for the company, Hype has expanded into other ventures to cultivate additional sources of income, with Weverse emerging as a notable example. Weverse has swiftly risen to prominence within Hype's portfolio, serving as a crucial revenue driver for the company. As an online fan communication platform, Weverse has secured partnerships with prominent artists, including Blackpink, a girl group affiliated with a rival agency. This strategic move has further solidified Weverse's position as a key player in the industry, attracting a diverse array of fans and generating substantial revenue for Hype. Moreover, Weverse has evolved beyond its initial function, offering a wide range of services tailored to fans' needs. Its ability to differentiate itself from existing fan communication platforms has been instrumental in its success, allowing it to carve out a distinct niche in the market and attract a loyal user base. But again, the argument will always remain that none of this would have been possible without the rise of BTS to begin with. What do you think? Could BTS have emerged to become a global phenomenon without hype, or are both entities responsible for each other's success? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.